Vote yes. Vote yes. Madam Speaker, I vote yes. Pain is with the pain that we have to move this indictment this afternoon to one of our colleagues. Uh, the colleague indicted before us has been in, the, in this house for a long period of time, uh, beyond one term. Right, Honorable Speaker, I vote yes. Honorable Speaker, I vote yes. Right, Honorable Speaker, I vote yes. The Speaker, I vote yes. Any single footprint of the right Honorable Speaker's involvement in sending the Honorable Minister to the Rules and Privileges Committee on allegations of misconduct and misbehavior on the 13th July 2022, where she was not even the presiding officer of the House as established from the Hansard, which was submitted by Honorable Saro Pendi and verified by the committee. D, it is practically impossible that the marriage of the right Honorable Speaker could have influenced decisions of the committee and the House that were taken prior to its occurrence. E, that the media interviews and statements made by Honorable Pasis Namganza Princess attacking the integrity of Parliament, its, its proceedings and resol resolutions were made outside Parliament and therefore not privileges, privileged, sorry, and she has no immunity derived from them. These amounted to contempt of Parliament. In conclusion, the matter raised in the interviews was obnoxious, reckless, insufferable, beyond the pale, and in, in, in Pinecurium, it was an attack on the person of the Speaker, the Parliament without due regard to the rules of procedure, the protected status, the protected redress, the applicability of evidence, and the decorum of Parliament. Having found prima facie evidence to prove the allegations contained in the motion and supporting documents, praise that this report be adopted by the House and leads the House under Rule 109B of the Rules of Procedure of Parliament in the proceedings of censor against Honorable Namganza Princess from the Office of the Minister for State, Lands, Housing and Urban Development. Right Honorable Speaker, I beg to move. Allow me to thank the Select Committee for the very good report they have produced. Honorable Members, you have received the report from the Select Committee on the Censor of Honorable Persons Namuganza Princess, State Minister for Lands, Housing and Urban Development. And it has found evidence that Honorable Namuganza conducted herself in a manner and becoming of a minister and has found that just conduct amounts to misbehavior and misconduct under Articles 118, 1B of the Constitutions. Honorable Members, the decision to censor a minister is not a decision that should be taken lightly. It has a far-reaching consequences on the minister, his or our family, cabinet, the appointing authority, and the country at large. This explains why the Constitution deemed it necessary that ministers should be censors on a prescribed grounds on members, the evidence was adduced and found to be true. I have had the privilege of sharing a term with her and I know her conduct. She survived that maybe she found a soft spot in the last parliament. But I think she took it for granted. She thought business was as usual that she can disparage parliament, disparage the presiding officers, members of parliament, and she walks away. You understand? I don't know what uh, abstinence would mean, but uh, I'm not voting yes or no. She did not get the best uh, remedy. She should have gone to the speaker. There are two speakers presiding over this house. She ignored everybody and went on the fray, the spree of abusing everyone. They gave her a chance on the floor of the house. The 
leader of government business invited her to just say sorry to the house. She ignored everyone. They invited her to the committee to defend herself. I have seen in the report my colleague has read here, they were citing authorities. She should have had the opportunity to raise even better authorities than what they were citing. She ignored it. So you members of parliament, what can you do to such a person? Mr. Speaker, I vote yes. To honorable speaker, I vote yes. Mr. Speaker, I vote yes. Having obtained the numbers required, that is more than half of the members of parliament, as required under Article 118, Clause 1 of the Constitution, admitting the threshold provided for under Rule 109, Sub Rule 12 of our Rules of Procedure, Sub Rule 13 of our Rules of Procedure, uh, I hereby declare that the motion has been carried, that Honorable Namganza passes, be censured, and as required under Rule 109, uh, Sub Rule 13 of our Rules of Procedure, I will inform the President accordingly within 24 hours. House adjourned.